Alright, hi again everybody, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Um, first off, let's just get this jiggy right here. It's pretty, pretty easy to get. Uh, it's number six. And then, if you'll notice, there's a molehill over here where we can learn a new move. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around uh, with the control stick. Go practice. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Alright, so that's pretty good. So yeah, steep things like this, you can't just run up with, with Banjo alone. You have to use Kazooie. So you crouch down, push Z, and uh, there you go. This actually lets you move a little bit quicker than just running around with Banjo, so it's not only helpful for steep slopes. Yippee, you've collected enough notes to break the first note door. Oh yeah, so we could, uh, we could leave this world now that we have 50 notes, but uh, like I said, we're going for the 100, so uh, we'll stick around, get a few more. Uh, so there are these notes on this slope here. Now you can't really get them unless you have Talon Trot, which is why we got that. Oh look, it's our last Jinjo. So let's get that. Alright, that's the seventh of ten Jiggies. So we are moving quite... moving right along in our first world. Our first, uh, real world. In Grunty's Lair, anyway. Uh, let's pick up the rest of these notes. We still have a few to get. Like, that still means 40, or 34 more, 31 more, and, uh, now 28 more. Oh, fortunately, this puts us right back here, where we needed to go anyway. Um, I forgot, but, uh, up here, there was a, a switch that I went to when we first came over. Ugh, dude. When we first came to this area, and uh, because we didn't have the uh, what do you call it, the beak dive or something, I don't remember. But because we we couldn't ground pound, basically we weren't able to hit the switch. But now that we can, there we go. So you'll find one of those switches in every world, and it makes a jigsaw piece appear outside the world in Grunty's lair. So that's how that's useful. Uh, well, let's see. We are missing a few notes, so I'll have to try to find those. Are they in here? I think... Or did... No, we already got the notes over here, right? Alright, uh... Well... I don't know. Let's continue searching, I suppose. Uh, are there some over here? Yeah, looks like it. It's also a mumbo token. Um, I'm not going to be getting every single mumbo token, because... Uh, it's not... Well... It's not really part of... I mean, if you look at the, at the start screen, you can see this view totals thing. And it doesn't show mumbo tokens there, it just shows notes and jigsaws and honeycomb pieces. I guess we still have to get one of those, I don't know where the other one is. But, uh... Yeah, so mumbo tokens, they are just used as currency for when you need mumbo to uh, use his magic which we will be doing in just a minute. Is that a jigsaw? Yeah, right there. Not bad. Okay, what does that put us at? Number eight? Alright, only two more in this world. But we still need, well, only 13 more notes. It's kind of an odd number. 13. Oh, well, with that three, it puts it up to 10. So we need 10 more notes somehow. Hey, look, another jiggy right there. Alright, I think I know. Where else we'll need to go then? Because that's our ninth Jiggy, and we only have one more. And the other one that we get, we get using uh, Mumbo's magic powers. Sometimes there's stuff behind Mumbo's hut. I guess not this time. Alright, let's head in his hut. Ooh, he wants five Mumbo tokens, and I only have three. That's unfortunate. Best shaman in game, also the only shaman in the game. Mumbo's magic tokens, hit by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign, bring more. Ooh, okay, so it looks like we actually need a few more tokens before we can actually uh, get Mumbo to help us. I wasn't sure how many we needed to start off with. 
sometimes there is stuff up here as well, up here in the upper region of Mumbo's Hut. Mumbo's Hut is a recurring building that we'll be seeing in many worlds. Not all the worlds, but lots of them will have a Mumbo's Hut in them. Okay, so now we're on the lookout for Mumbo tokens. Um, huh. But yeah, you see this life never disappeared. Uh, I don't know. There must be some around here somewhere. Any over here? Yep, there's one. Um, let's see. This still leaves us one more to get before we can do the transformation. We haven't gone in here yet, have we? This giant thing. Let's head in there. Maybe there's a mumbo token we can get. Hey, ugly. No bears allowed. In tickers tower. Oh, there we go. That's number five. Yeah, so you'll notice there are some steep slopes in here that are even too steep for Kazooie to traverse. So, I don't know. I wonder if there's some kind of solution to that, and I wonder if it involves Mumbo's magic, since they gave us a Mumbo token right in the place where uh, the problem was occurring. Alright, so we come in here now that we have five Mumbo tokens. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on Skull and press B to see Mighty Mumbo Magic. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, boom. He transforms us into a termite. Mumbo is magic, free to change back. You come when ready. Termite, bit small. But, oh shoot, we didn't see the last bit of that. That's okay, though. I know what to do with termite. Um, yeah, so Mumbo will transform you into various uh, creatures, uh, depending on the world. But in this one, he transforms us into a termite. Why is that helpful? Well, because termites can... Uh... Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Uh, termites can go on these extra steep areas. So that's helpful in this... Uh, region up here. There's some more notes here. Alright, well that's all 100 right there. So there we go, that's our 100 notes. We get this nice message from Bottles. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Now one thing you gotta be careful about with notes is that uh, when you exit a world, you basically lose all the notes that you had acquired. You don't lose all the jiggies, and I don't even think you lo you lose the jinjos, but you lose the notes. So if you accidentally exit the world, you have to go back and get every single note again in the entire world. So if you're at like 90 notes and you accidentally exit, well that means you have to go back and get uh, all 100. Alright, there we go, that's our 10 jiggies. Now, um, instead of heading straight back to Mumbo's to get transformed back into Banjo and Kazooie, uh, we will be exiting the world first because uh, often there are things that your transformed form can do outside the world. Grunty's magic stops you taking the notes off the world, but the 100 you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. Yeah, so as a termite, you can climb up this mountain. You couldn't climb up that with Kazooie, it would be too steep. But uh, if you remember, we pushed the switch and the Jiggy appeared up there. So there we go. That's our second j Jiggy in Gruntilda's lair. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want- hey, hey, you already said that, man. Okay, Mobo Magic get weak, Animal turn back, or Magic go. Magic all gone, must go back to bear and bird now. Yeah, so if you stray too far from the world, Mumbo will automatically transform you back to Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, shoot. We missed a honeycomb, didn't we? Oh, man, I thought we completely finished with that world. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't know where the other honeycomb is. Well, yeah, here we are back in the world, but in this, this time, uh, you see all the notes are back, all there reset. Is that it up there? I think it is. Up in that little nook. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how shall we get there? I wonder if we have to be a termite. Oh, I bet we do. Okay, back in Mumbo's Hub, we don't need to recollect all of the Mumbo tokens because we already paid him once, so he'll go ahead and just do the whole magic thing again uh, without compensation. So that's good. I guess in termite form we can get that other honeycomb.
There are two honeycombs, like I said earlier. There are two honeycombs in every world. Uh, 100 notes and uh, 10 jiggies. So, yeah. I meant to get this before we left the world, because then we could just continue on once we got back into Grunty's lair. But, uh, oh well. There we go. That's the honeycomb that we had missed. So, now I'll head back outside the world, and I guess we'll head to the next one. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Mobile magic, get weak. Yeah, he has to say this every time, I guess. Magic run out. Or, well, I guess he doesn't have to say the whole spiel. Alright, there we go. Coming up on 11 minutes, so thanks for watching, everybody. That's We got Mumbo's Mountain finished up. Let's view totals. Uh, there's Mumbo's Mountain, 100% completed. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Thanks for watching.